Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to Bedtime Stories. Yes, it is that time where we're going to read before bed. Now my lovelies, how many of you have brushed your teeth? Are you ready? Yeah? Should we get started? Are you cosy in your pyjamas? Is that a yes? Okay, let's get ready. So I have chosen three books for you today and I've selected today to read a story called Mine. It's a really nice colourful picture book and I really hope you will enjoy it. So go and get your younger brothers and sisters and tell them to join in because I'm sure they will really like this picture book. Let's get started. The book is called Mine. <clears throat> oh. Fox was bored. I'm sure we can all relate to that, can't we? Horse was bored. There we go, there's fox and there's horse. Nothing had happened for ages. They're just laying there. How many of you just lay there? In your room, in your beds, on the sofa, just bored like horse and fox. But then something did. What could it be? They were sitting there all bored and they heard a noise, something. Fox noticed, horse noticed. Horse pretended he hadn't seen. Fox pretended he hadn't seen. But they were both thinking the same thing. Let's see what it could be. It's mine. They've both got something, haven't they? And they both want it. I bet you do that with your siblings. Do you fight over toys? Let's find out what fox and horse is fighting over. That thing belongs to me, said horse. No, that thing belongs to me, said fox. But I saw it first said horse. No, it's mine, said fox. I saw it first. Didn't, said fox. Sorry, said horse. Did, said fox. You really didn't, said horse. Really did, said fox. Did and didn't. One of the famous words that I hear all the time. <clears throat> oh dear. This was getting them nowhere. Oh, fox and horse look really sad, don't they? Okay, said horse. How about I play with it first over here and you wait over there? Or I play first over here, said fox, and you wait over there. Hang on, said horse. 
if you're right there and I'm right here, we may as well play at the same time. You mean play together? asked Fox. Kind of sharing? Aha, said the bird. Fox was sad, horse was sad, but then another thing happened and this time it was going to be different. What could it be? Fox is sad, horse is sad. What could it be? Shall we find out? This is nice, said horse. Uh, yes, said fox. It's good to share. And that's the end of our story. Mine. What did we learn from this story then? What did fox and horse find when they were sitting there all bored? Well, they found an egg, didn't they? Because the bird flew by and she wanted her egg back. Where's that bird gone? There she is. That's the thing they found, the egg. Then they were fighting over it because they wanted to both play with it. And then they came to an agreement that they would share. Then when the egg was gone, what did they find next? They found a kite. That's right, well done. They found a kite, see? There's the kite in the picture. And what did they do? They learned to share. So what did we learn from this book today? Sometimes we can both like the same things or maybe play with the same toys, but we want to play by ourselves and not share. But it's good to share. If you have a younger brother or sister or, or friends that you want to play with, it's good to share things and play together. Playing together is much nicer than playing by yourself. Now, as you've been sitting so nicely today, I think we've got time for another story. This is one of my children's favourite stories, and I'm sure it's one of your favourites too. It's called, I will never, ever eat a tomato. Never, ever. One of my children's favourite characters are Charlie and Lola. Do you like Charlie and Lola? They've got more books about Charlie and Lola, haven't they? So, let's read today's story. I will never, I will never ever eat a tomato. Are you cosy and comfortable? Yeah? Let's get started. I have a little sister, Lola. She is small and very funny. Sometimes I have to keep an eye on her. Sometimes mum and dad ask me to give her dinner. This is, hard. this is a hard job because she is a very fussy eater. <clears throat> Lola won't eat carrots, of course. She says carrots are for rabbits. I say, what about peas? Lola says, peas are too small and too green. One day I played a trick on her. There's Lola. 
being fussy about her peas. Oh, she was sitting at the table, waiting for her dinner. And Lola said, I do not eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages. I do not eat cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges and I am not keen on apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and I absolutely will not ever never eat tomato my sister hates tomatoes said Charlie oh dear let's have a look at Lola there she is she doesn't like very much does she <clears throat> and I said that is lucky because we are not having those things we are not going to eat peas or carrots or potatoes or mushrooms or spaghetti or eggs or sausages there will be no cauliflower or cabbage or baked beans or bananas or oranges we don't have any apples or rice or cheese or fish fingers and certainly no tomatoes said Charlie should we have a look at Charlie there he is who has a little sister like that who doesn't like to eat much yeah I have a sister like that too Lola looks at the table <clears throat> but why are those carrots there Charlie she said I don't ever eat carrots there we go and I said oh you think these are carrots these are not carrots these are orange twiglets from Jupiter they look just like carrots to me says Lola but how can they be carrots I say carrots don't grow on Jupiter that's true says Lola well I might just try one if they're all the way from Jupiter hmm not bad says Lola taking another bite well that's one way to get Lola to eat carrots isn't it <clears throat> then Lola sees some peas I don't eat peas says Lola I say there they are not peas of course they are not these are green drops from Greenland they are made out of green and fall from the sky but I don't eat green things says Lola Those peas look yummy. How many of you like peas? And how many of you don't like peas? Peas are good for you, they're healthy. Oh goody, I say, I have your share. Green drops 
are so incredibly rare. Well, maybe I'll nibble just one or two. Oh, says Lola, quite tasty. Mmm. Next, Lola spies the potato. I will not eat potato, so don't even try, not even mash. There's a big potato next to Lola and she doesn't want to eat it, does she? What do you think Charlie will say to her next to try and make Lola eat it? Should we find out? Oh, this isn't mash. People often think that, but no, this is cloud fluff from the pointiest peak of Mount Fuji. Oh well, in that case, a large helping for me. I love to eat cloud, said Charlie. Can you imagine eating a large fluffy cloud that looks like mashed potato? Wonder what that would taste like. Charlie, she says, they look like fish fingers to me and I would never eat fish fingers. Oh dear, Lola doesn't like fish fingers. Let's see what Charlie says to her next. I know, but these are not fish fingers. These are ocean nibbles from the supermarket under the sea. Mermaids eat them all the time. Oh, I've been to the supermarket one time with mum. Yes, I know the ones. I think I've had them before, Lola says, gobbling them. Are there any more? And then Lola says, Charlie, will you pass me one of those? And I say, what, what's one of those? I wonder what Lola wants. Let's see. And Lola says, yes, Charlie, one of those. And I can't believe my eyes because guess what she is pointing at? She's pointing at the tomatoes. And I say, are you sure? Really, one of these? Well, I say, I would never have guessed that Lola wants to eat a tomato. <clears throat> and she says, Yes, of course. Moon squirters are my favourite. She calls the tomato a moon squirter. You didn't think they were tomatoes, did you, Charlie? She's quite cheeky, isn't she, Lola? Right at the end of the story, she tried to make the tomatoes into moon squirters. Well, I really enjoyed that story about Charlie and Lola and how Lola doesn't like tomatoes.
Now, how many of you are fussy eaters? Do you be fussy with your vegetables like Lola? Do you eat your carrots, your peas, your cauliflowers, your potatoes, your pasta, your rice? Well, Lola was very fussy, wasn't she? But Charlie, her big brother, managed to persuade her to eat all her vegetables. She even went for the tomatoes. <clears throat> so how many of you will eat your vegetables? Well, now we've come to the end of the story and I hope you've had a good night and I hope you have a good night too and I'll see you again soon inshallah next week for more bedtime stories. Thank you for joining me today. Inshallah, see you again soon. Assalamu alaikum. Bye bye.